24 hours since Washington University moved to stop care for transgender minors because of Missouri's strict and what opponents call bigoted law. And the fallout from this law is scaring families who have relatives who have or are transitioning. First Lord for Shoshana Stahl reports efforts are underway to circumnavigate roadblocks. He turned to me and he said, Daddy, do you think God could make me over again as a boy? Rabbi Daniel Bogart's son is only 10, but from his earliest moments, his son, whose identity he keeps private for safety, was expressing himself as a boy. You cross the river and you are more free as a human being than you are here in Missouri. Bogart's feelings come as Washington University moves away from prescribing puberty blockers and hormones to minors in transition, ending gender affirming care for minors. This is a direct result of Missouri's law banning minors from starting gender affirming treatment unless started before August 28th. What we're trying to do is protect children. That is what this is all about. It's not about adults. Now, because of a liability issue, WashU will only offer education and mental health for minors transitioning. It's just another sign for him that he is not welcome in Missouri. Michael Walk's 17 year old daughter has been transitioning at WashU's center for the last three years. Walk says his daughter, whose name is also kept private, has always been treated with care. She is thriving. She is doing great. Um, her grades are incredible and she is uh, free of any antidepressants. She is completely, um, she's completely fine, far more fine than she was uh, when she was not presenting as, as who she is. Wash you ending that care impacts her firsthand with the Walk family now finding another way to get proper care. We will not allow her to be forced to be detransitioned. That's, um, like I said, that's non-negotiable. That, that would be disastrous to her mental health. And as well as she is doing, and honestly thriving in every aspect of her life, we can't let that happen. We just can't. Susan Halla is the board president for a support organization called Transparent. She's been through this with her son, Joey, who transitioned while in high school and received care from Wash U. This decision isn't one she stands by. It's incredibly depressing. She says Joey will never move back to Missouri and says this decision will be detrimental to people across the state. There will be children who will die. There will be families that are moving out of state. All of that tax base is gone. People will not move to Missouri because of this. I live here in my grandparents' home that my grandpa built, that my dad grew up in, that I grew up in, that my son lives in my childhood bedroom. And we're terrified that we are going to have to flee this state. The transparent organization is looking to help families find places that offer care out of state and even provide financial help. In St. Louis, Shoshana Stahl, First Alert 4. Medical care for patients 18 and older are not impacted by this decision. You can find more information from Washington University inside the story on your KMLV News app. I'm sure we 